Hey guys, I want to give you a little quick episode this week, kind of catch up on what I've been doing in the shop lately. Yeah, here's a coffee can guitar. This one is going to Indiana. Uh, I won't say much more than that. I'll go over the details of it, but you know what? This thing has a unique sound. Um, got a lot to do with the tuning and the string combination. That's crazy. All right, let's put this monster down. Before I tell you about it, I want to do a couple shout outs. First, that background music is Reverend Peyton's big damn band, Poor Until Payday. Get this, I'm going to give you a link below. Um, this is a band that does uh, over 250 shows a year. They're going to be around you sooner or later. You really want to see the, these people. They are the closest you're going to get to Charlie Patton in the 1930s as you can get. But anyway, once again, Reverend Peyton's big damn band, straight out of Brown County, Indiana. Now I want to give a shout out to Bob Owen, straight out of Georgia, baby. He told me about this thing, Wixy Height Gauge. You know, when you're setting box uh, lids down into the neck, when you're trying to figure out how tall your bridge should be, um, it can be a mess. Uh, but he gave me a hint about this gadget. I'm gonna show you how it works here in a minute. You're gonna be impressed and you're gonna wanna get one of these. Wixy Height Gauge. So before I show you the in Intrinsicities, is that even a word? Who cares? This is a cigar box guitar channel. Anyway, before I show you the details on this puppy, I am going to show you real quick what this thing will do. Get ready to be blown away. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. Um, it is Wixy, once again, depth gauge. I can turn it on here, and I bottom it out here by pushing this down. This pushes up and down. See that? And the numbers change now a couple things it gives you the ability to set what we usually call tear on a on a gauge so if you want to make that the setting you just hit the button uh, but it also has inches and for you metric system haters it has metrics so you wouldn't believe i catch more flack about that than anything anyway you just push this button right here it'll read in quarter of an inch or centimeters and millimeters and all that kind of thing so that's pretty handy so what does this thing do well let's say I want to cut this box top down into a neck remember the episode don't blow your top this is exactly what I'm talking about here I'll set the camera up where my arm is in the way anyway I just put this box here like this and I take this gadget and I just push it down and bingo that is the thickness of the neck or excuse me box top how thick it will have to drop down into the neck so do I need to measure this no not at all I just put my marks on here this was built for a coffee can uh, template but all I really got to do is take this instead of going over here and trying to set this like so remember this I can just take this set it here it's got a magnet on it it would be nice if this thing had a third leg on it and it was a tripod but you can see right here that i just reach down crank up my table until it touches there and they're matched up there's a number of things i could do with this including uh setting down the bridges that i use you know the floating bridges let me grab one here like this i could measure how far this is sticking up on the box top and then use this to figure out what my string height this has a million uses think about getting one thanks for the tip bob owens okay guys let's have a closer look at the guitar we started off with one of these a butternut can we used uh, the template that i showed you in the last episode to cut the holes through the side there we go one more time if you didn't catch it if I leave this on long enough, this will be the graphic for the episode. Give me a second there. Thanks. Anyway, there's the can. There's my greaser. Uh, I use that galvanized piece of metal that I found in the alley down in deep, dark L.A. 
you can see the copper there that's what's grounding the strings there's the top it is a map in brown county indiana is right in the middle there hey everybody's favorite o'brien's rosie how you doing there is a coil pickup right there and we bunched up the wires here use some more of that galvanized stuff there's the volume control potentiometer the jack is on the back underneath and the bottom right back here on that reinforced side and i'll show you that in a minute but going up the neck here's some coffee can related stuff hey grandma's coffee muddy boots cafe where's that and then the headstock again map indiana brown county right there um what's in brown county i don't think uh, speedway is in brown county hey check out a song called your cousins on cops i'll give you a link to that right up about here right about now anyway there's the front side of the guitar okay look let's look at the back side i put the jack right here in the middle uh i put it up about in the center of the can in the middle of this reinforced strip that way it's solid um, and it weighs out well it works okay that way um i put the lid of the can which came with it it had been open with that screw key that they used to use to come on the top but i put this on the bottom it keeps everything in there there's the grease zerk the volume control and a little bit more detail on that wiring there I use these corner brackets uh, they screw right into the neck uh, the double board on the neck there's my detail and my reinforcement dowels they're colored with a cherry color wood gives us a nice offset but over here I want you to notice there's the bacon flavored toothpicks that aren't really bacon flavored anyway back to reality I use nylon insert washers here there is a Charlie Patton era buffalo nickel and going up to the top there is tammy's signature so that's the guitar um turned out good and it's going out to indiana very soon okay something i want to point out here is the action on this or how high the strings are above the fret board or fingerboard whatever you want to call it is really high we come down here to the top of the coffee can that piece of wood i got up there you see that to the strings at the top of the bridge is about 18 millimeters and when we come down to the fretboard or fingerboard you're at about eight millimeters see how high that is there and then we come all the way up here to the knot and we're not sitting on a fret this time but um, we are sitting at about five millimeters right at the knot where the strings come across now that is really high I don't do it that way you can see the fret markers there but this is about slide this is about the artist wanting it this way to play slide now when you're playing this of course and the slide is going on your thumb and the string if you put a finger on that string it's going to dampen it and give you kind of a muting sound but yeah this is on purpose this action is very high bet you you're glad that's it anyway don't forget to give me a like below subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification button and that way you'll get <laughs> notified whenever these things come out we're gonna get back on cigar box uh, cigar box stuff here pretty quick but I am getting some people who are into building these and I'm glad I could help you and share some mistakes with you before we close out one more time Reverend Payton's big damn band, Poor Until Payday, nominated for a Blues Award this year. One more time, Bob Owens, thank you for this tip. Wixie's fixing to get rich with everybody buying one of these. I'll see you later.